and they are dear friends of ours for sure. They were part of the weekend anchor team with me about 17 years ago. Well, here in Chicago, we have cloudy and cool weather on tap all over again for tomorrow. Normal high is 78 degrees. We are stuck again in the 60s with that gusty northeast wind. That's going to generate the high waves at the lakefront, so we still have to watch for that. A beach hazard statement stays up. Reason for the high waves and the cool air is ridge of high pressure. The front has stalled over the state. The high is sending those winds in our direction and we sit on the cool side of that front 64 was our high today that was it now we're standing at 61 degrees 40s behind the front 70s are ahead of it and we have some light sprinkles now at O'Hare 61 degrees is our current temperature so not even really showing up on radar locally because it is fine mist that's around that's going to be the type of rain we can expect on and off tonight and through the day tomorrow better rain is concentrated over much of Wisconsin and that's moving to upper Michigan. So 60 for a low tonight. So you notice steady temperatures, really. So what you see is what you get as we roll through the night and through much of the day tomorrow. Rain chance tomorrow is only at about 10 to 20 percent. Again, very light activity, cloudy and definitely cool. So the next two days, cool weather is here to stay with extra clouds. But I think late Friday, we start breaking this pattern. That front finally dissipates and a new system heads our way for the weekend. Now the weekend, we are bringing shower and storm chances in for Saturday. Not a complete washout, but we could have some thunder and we're going to have gustier southwest winds. That's going to mix the cloud cover a bit. So we'll finally start to break that as well. Clear out on Sunday. Warmer weather next week. So Brad and Erica, we have a chilly one for us the next one uh, for tomorrow. And then we get back to the 70s and maybe some low 80s late in the seven day. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.